Welcome to my channel, Sunshine Shoulders. I'm Calvin. Thank you so much for stopping by today. This is the real reason Western men are dying in the Philippines and around the world. The short answer is stress. And since stress is a leading cause of hypertension, which is a leading cause of cardiovascular disease, which is the number one killer of men around the world. We should be worried about stress. It's one of the main reasons that we come to the Philippines. We're trying to escape a stressful life. And yet, what do we do? We come over here or wherever we go going and bring the stress with us and then create other stress. So I just want to talk about some things today, some stuff we can do to lower the stress, to lower our blood pressure, because I'm going to tell you something, most of the stuff on this list I did, and I'm going to tell you, it'll raise your blood pressure if you're not careful. I was going to name it the top 20, top 20 advice men foreign men won't take in the Philippines but people don't want advice from me so I'm just giving you my boots on the ground experience let's start out with no commitments online and this is a revised list because some of this stuff I've talked about before but expectations create stress any way you look at it so you've already made the commitment online before you ever meet the young lady don't do that, guys. You know, we don't need that kind of stress. Don't gossip over here with locals or foreigners, man. And I tell you, recently, my name got dragged into some gossip over here, man. It just, it just creates stress, unnecessary stress. I don't need, be careful what you say to people. You know, they're going to let you down. It's no longer a secret. They're going to tell somebody, and you're going to get embroiled in that, and it's, it causes stress. Help the family. When you don't help the family, you know, people worry about that all the time. Just help the family, man. You don't have to go broke doing it. But if you help the family, it's going to lower your blood pressure. Most of the time, they're not even going to ask you anyway, but just go ahead and do it. You know they need some help, and when I say that, I mean basically the mother. You know, give her a few thousand pesos every month. Get in front of that. That way you don't have to be dealing with all the requests and all of that. Get you some health insurance. You'll sleep out at night over here, knowing that if something happens, you're going to be covered. Get as, get as little as much as you possibly can. You know, recently, one of my trolls died. He was actually a stalker. And I just want to make it clear, I'm not happy about that. I'm not glad that he died. I don't wish bad luck on anybody. I don't think heaven's rejoicing. As a matter of fact, I know he probably has a family that's grieving right now. And that's one of the reasons why I made the video. Because I was getting... People were sending me links, uh, this guy died. And, you know, he gave me hell, man. I'm going to be honest with you. I'm not going to sugarcoat it. He made videos about me. He sent me a bunch of nasty emails. But I'm not glad he's dead. Matter of fact, I'm sad. Life is precious, man, to me. It's sacred. And I know he left some people behind. But, yeah, get some health insurance. That should be way up the list. There's actually 24 things on here, to be honest with you. I, have, I went over 20, but... Don't get into a taxi anywhere in the Philippines. Or a jeepney, or a tricycle, or a pedicab until you know up front what you're going to be paying. In the case of a taxi... That meter's got to be running, guys. I'm sorry. If it's not, don't get in there. I don't care how much of a hairy it is. I don't care how late at night it is. 
it's going to stress you out when you pay 500 pesos for a 60 peso ride. Don't assume nothing over here. Don't assume you can afford something. Don't assume it's all right to do something or to say something over here. Don't assume anything. You know what they say about that. When you assume it makes an ass out of you and me. Don't assume anything. Don't argue. You can't win an argument. Period. Over here. Don't live in the province initially. Or if you have health problems. Because the hospitalization and the health care is not going to be adequate enough to take care of you. Now these are just suggestions. These are things that you can do to keep your blood pressure down. To lower your stress. Because stress is one of the leading causes of hypertension, which is one of the leading causes of cardiovascular disease, which is the number one killer of men around the world. We are more susceptible to a heart attack than women. Okay. Don't stir and booty watch over here. Don't, don't rape these women up and down. They're watching your eyes. And get you a good pair of sunglasses if you want to be creepy like that. That's creepy over here. It's okay. Get you a good eye for and keep moving. But don't sit there and just stare and just salivate and be creepy. Learn to say no. Oh, man, this should be way up the list. I did a whole video on it before, but learn to say no. If you don't, your stress level is going to go way up. You're going to start agreeing to stuff that you have no business agreeing to that's going to stress you the hell out. You're going to regret saying yes all the damn time. They'll get over it. And then you're going to know where you stand with the people anyway. A good firm no is better than a soft yes any day. Yeah, this is a no-brainer. Don't lend money and don't borrow money here in the Philippines. You're not going to get your money back. And if you loan somebody some money, they're going to be on you until you pay them back. And every time you see them, if you don't have the money, you're going to be stressed. You don't want to come outside. It's just it's a no no, guys, okay? Don't drink in local bars over here. I mean, I've done a whole video on that, a whole segment on that. It's going to stress you out. Don't drive over here. Yeah, this is one that's going to get me some pushback. Driving is stressful, okay? You And any psychologist worth the writing on his degree will tell you that. And then over here, you're a Western man. You're driving over here. They got different rules. It's to The traffic patterns are totally different over here. Man Boontag. Good morning. Man Boontag. <laughs> Hello. Good morning. Yeah, don't drive over here. Man Boontag. Good morning. Yeah, I don't drive. I've never driven a car in the Philippines. I've never driven a motorcycle. The, 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 the most I've ever done is ride my bike, and it's dangerous. But that causes stress, unnecessary stress. Good morning, man. Good morning. Open up a bank account. It's going to lower your blood pressure because you're able to make that one transfer every month. It's going to save you a lot of money over here. See, having more money than bills will definitely lower your blood pressure. But we throw a lot of money away over here because we use remittance fees. I mean, re remittance services and we pay the fees. They're expensive. We use our ATM cards. They're expensive. More money, less stress. 
get a local doctor and see them on a regular basis. Yeah, you're not going to do it, guys. But I'm going to tell you what is going to help to lower your blood pressure over here, which is going to lower your stress, which is probably going to increase the chances that you won't have a heart attack over here. Don't date women with children. Okay? Now, I know it's Filipinos. They're going to get on my case for that. Remember, most of the stuff on this list I've done, I know that it's going to cause you stress. I've been very fortunate because Merlin's got wonderful kids. Her two children, they just, they're extraordinary, really. I mean, I'm not saying that. Merlin's probably not even going to watch this video. But it's true. But you can't discipline kids over here, man. And more than likely, even though... How you doing, man? Boom time. Good morning. And even though they may be the best kids, there's times when children are going to raise your blood pressure. Just because they're children, just because they're teenagers. It has nothing to do with you, but because of the noise and everything that's created around you. But don't date women with children, man. If you want to keep your love, blood pressure down, your stress level down. I'm just, you know, being honest with you. Don't date married women over here. Yep. I mean, okay. Don't say that I didn't try to tell you. Stress, man, is something. It's the really, it's the main reason we move over here, guys. You think it's for a woman, you think it's for the low cost of living, but it's not. The real reason Western men come to the Philippines and other places like this is we're trying to escape that stressful lifestyle. I call it the rat race. Get off that hamster wheel and just get away from toxic relationships, toxic women, those things that cause us stress over there. Those old thankless jobs. Okay, but the real reason we're coming over here, we're trying to relax, man. Hell, you know, women are everywhere. You're going to get a woman over here. Hell, if you blindfold yourself and walk up the street. But don't date married women. It just comes with too many problems. What if you fall in love? It's expensive. It's a never-ending process. That damn... Uh, annulment. Remember, we're in our fourth quarter. We don't need the stress. We don't have that time to wait. Five. Hey, man, good talk. We don't have the the five years that good it takes. Hey, all the money. Because there's a lot of money. Remember, less money, more stress. More money, less stress. Don't finance a business. I didn't say don't start a business. That's none of my business. But don't finance a business. It's not going to work. It's going to bring you a whole lot of stress. See, we're getting down to the nitty gritty now. These next four. Well, actually, five. Don't finance no business, man, over here. Expect you're going to get something back. and Oh, man. Your blood pressure is going to be boiling. My good talk, sir beautiful garden you have that's that Milan guy right there I like to eat that in my it's very nutritious I like to eat it in my soup they'll put it in the chicken soup Milan guy they even got Milan guy peels Milan guy lotion Milan guy soap but yeah it's a great has a lot of great health benefits which is gonna go to the next one exercise Eat better, make better life choices. Look up the causes of stress, hypertension, heart attacks, cardio disease, and that's in there. Not enough movement, not enough exercise. We're eating badly, we're sleep, not getting enough sleep. We just have to make better life choices. We know better by now. We're, you know, we're older. We're in the fourth quarter. If you don't know by now what to do, you know, we're eating badly, we're drinking badly, smoking. You'll see what causes all of that. 
Don't start a YouTube channel, okay? I don't know how my YouTube channel got so popular. And I really don't care. I didn't start it to get rich and famous or anything like that. I was bored down in Zamboanga doing the lockdowns, the strict lockdowns. Majority of YouTube channels never see the light of day. It brings you a lot of stress. You're wondering, why aren't people watching my channel? I can't get monetized. It's going to be stressful. Then you're going to have stalkers on your case. If you do become successful over here and have a decent following, it's just more stress and unnecessary stress. If I'd have known these guys, and they're guys, they're not women, would, if I'd known they were going to be waiting for me and other people like me to become successful so they could pounce me, I would have never started a YouTube channel. It's too stressful. And even though one of my stalkers recently died, I'm not happy about it. I don't wish bad luck on anybody, guys, okay? Heaven's not rejoicing because he died. His family's grieving. And I just want to make that point clear. I don't wish bad luck on anybody, but I do believe that negative energy is bad energy. Okay. No living girlfriend. And every last one of y'all is going to make that mistake. Every last one of us has made that mistake. But I tell you, it's a big stress. Uh, it's a big stressor over here. And I'm pretty sure around the world, I don't care how good she is. I don't care how pretty she is. I don't care if she bends over backwards for you. Living with another human being. My name is Talk, ma'am. Good morning. Good morning. It's... It's hard to do, it's tough, it's stressful. And you may have 23 good days out of the month and seven stressful ones. And those will be the ones that's gonna get you. It's hard living with another human being. It's way up the list. And then the number one stressor for me in the Philippines and around the world it don't send money it's my buntak it's losing money unnecessarily you're trying to put women in lay away trying to reserve them trying to gain favor with people whatever it is don't send money over here or anywhere you're going to need that money. You're not obligated to pay hospital bills for strangers. Or for women that you've never okay, met okay. before. Hey, man, good time. You're not responsible for... Hey, man, good time. My favorite... These are my favorite garbage men. You're not responsible for hospital bills of the children and the family of women that you've never met before. I got an email the other day. A guy was asking me. He said, yeah, I've been fooling with a woman and her child has the dinghy. And he said, I, you know, pay the hospital bill. Well, listen, one thing that I'm going to tell you right now is they don't give you a bill and then you can go home and bring it back. A lot of times you have to just pay the hospital. They'll tell you how much you owe. Then you pay it. Then they give you a receipt. When, my, when our son was in the hospital in Zamboanga for 18 days, 16 of those days in a World War II incubator, they never gave us a bill. So when women show you these bills online and everything like that, more than likely, not real guys you don't get a bill like that they created that you know people here they're very um, intelligent industrious and they can easily create a bill don't do it guys so there you have it if you want to lower your stress 
in the Philippines or around the world take some of these suggestions Brown Boontot and live a long life now one thing I'm going to say I'm going to put this in a disclaimer you can't outrun heredity good morning Brown Boontot if heart disease and all of that hypertension matter of fact as being a man of African and Caribbean descent now I'm born with hypertension but you can do things that can improve that and give you a better quality of life but yeah heredity is something you can't outrun so if you're in America it's getting late before you let your head hit the pillow please find somebody to help if you don't want them late grocery runs beer runs, weed runs just getting off second shift or you're on your lunch break See somebody in the street, buy them something to eat, buy them something to drink, give them a few dollars. If you're in the Philippines, no excuse why you shouldn't be helping somebody over here. Now, a day goes by, I don't help somebody. We'll have our electronic community pantry giveaway drawing later today. Two of our lucky Filipino subscribers will win groceries from Save More just to help them during the pandemic the pandemic is still going on it's not officially over nobody has made the announcement yet because if I don't know anything else I know this one thing for sure when we help other people we help ourselves take care stay safe stay COVID free I'll see you next time